हेलो एंड वेलकम टू द सी एफ एनालिसिस ऑफ जनरल बेयरिंग एंड द वैलिडेशन ऑफ द सेम रिजल्ट फ्रॉम द ग्राफ्स ऑफ दीज जनरल बेयरिंग फ्रॉम द शिगलेस बुक एंड बुक नेम इज मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग डिजाइन एंड माई नेम इज जला मेमन आई एम इंस्ट्रक्टर फॉर दिस कोर्स एंड यू विल लर्न एवरी थिंग फ्रॉम द स्क्रेच सो आई डोंट अज्यूम एनी थिंग दैट यू हैव सम पर्टिकुलर नॉलेज सो वी कैन स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द स्क्रेच एंड आई यू डिस्कस एवरी थिंग like the introduction to the bearings and the introduction to general bearings their basics their different terms their uh, uh, different parameters used for the describing general bearing and how to find out these values and then the general bearing uh, behavior of general bearing the oil inside the general bearing how it behaves uh, the maximum pressure location minimum pressure location different angles there cavitation region and uh, equation governing the flow in general bearing and uh, also the important parameters like the summer field number and uh, reynolds number for general bearings and then finally i will discuss about the different graphs which i taken from uh, shigley's book mechanical mechanical design and based on these graphs uh, we will be comparing our data with the cfd so i will be comparing the same 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 data that for example l by d is 1 and then Uh, we will find out the summer field number and then we match them and then finally we find out these parameters on vertical axis and similarly uh, i will discuss about the boundary conditions for bearing like the four summer field half summer field and uh, then cavitation molding so this is the full summer field this is the half uh, summer field boundary condition and cavitation and uh, then the corresponding uh application of uh, these things in the fluent during through udf or general design function and you can see this is the uh, uh, function for applying the half summer field boundary condition through udf in fluent and also matter properties their variation with the temperature and pressure and then their corresponding modeling through udf so this is the equation this is a reference from where this equation is taken and this is corresponding udf you will get all udf every file in in the course and then the geometry was modeled with these parameters in space claim and these are parameters for this uh, general bearing boundary conditions inlet pressure inlet temperature also eccentricity clearance eccentric ratio length l by d ratio speed in terms of rpm and also radians per second and uh, then non summer calculation also discussed here and based on this uh, non summer which is 300 for example the round sum is less than 2000 so their flow is laminar and we use a laminar flow model and then based on summer field number this is very important parameter for example here i found out the value of uh, maximum pressure ratio as 0.2 this is a pressure ratio of nominal pressure divided by the p maximum in the in the bearing and the nominal pressure is based on the basically the ratio of the loading capacity of the bearing divided by the Uh, projected area that is l into d and uh, from here also we can find out from these graphs that the what what is the best value of uh, attitude angle so i discuss about attitude angle also in the course material and then how to input the material properties which we just discussed above and then geometry making in space claim with these parameters meshing in icm cfd and also i will include uh, meshing in the workbench as well and then solution setup and then running the solution getting results and also i will be discussing about the post processing of the results in cfd post especially the variation of pressure versus angle along along the circumference of this uh, whole bearing and uh, this is the case where i discuss about the 3 rpms and their pressure uh, variation across the circumference this is the variation across the circumference and this is based on the cos theta angle and uh, shown in the course also and then uh, we found out the value of the p maximum and uh, then corresponding values for the theta p maximum that is the angle where pressure is maximum then theta p zero which is the angle where pressure is going to be zero and in some other zones uh, because of cavitation the flow will be equal to zero and here uh, for example here from here Uh, with maximum pressure ratio as 0.28, so this 
so from here we can find out the value of because p maximum is known from the cfd so we can find out the loading capacity of the of the bearing in reverse order and here what i found is that i found the value of the location of p maximum the angular location so which is 16 degrees and from cfd it is 20 20 so the only difference of 4 degrees and then is a 41 for the value where the pressure is going to be zero and from CFD it is around 60 to 70 degrees you will see in the video okay so everything is discussed from the scratch like the definitions their prop theory their properties and uh, how to get or extract the important parameters and then how to make the geometry meshing problem setup in the CFD uh, in the CFD software and finally uh, getting results and then validating results them against the uh, high quality data from Shigley's Mechanical Engineering Design book. So I hope that you will learn uh, about the general bearing in very detail and this will help you also in your uh, coursework about the bearings and also this will help teachers to prescribe uh, some uh, assignment based on the uh, analytical solution and then the numerical solution using CAB techniques. So this will enhance understanding of the students.